All right, we're going to go, I'm going to go through here for those who are still struggling with setting up a spreadsheet for uh, uh, kinematic equations. Just a, a quick one here. Lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to do the most simple one. First and foremost, put out your knowns in a place that's not going to change. So for instance here, your knowns are position. That's a radial vector or a position vector. Velocity. One, two, three. You know, you got an X, a Y, and a Z position or velocity. I leave an extra space in between. Um, time, initial. I'm just going to put acceleration here. Acceleration. All right. X, Y, and Z. Spacebar, time, initial. And then you're going to place some places. You're going to think about x's, x, y, z, and r theta phi. I'm going to go ahead and insert a row here. We're going to use the polar stuff. So polar, if you know r theta and phi, copy. That's going to be the case here. In other words, you're going to know an r theta and phi for each of these. In other words, these vectors are, like all vectors, are three-dimensional. You might then put calculation, the x component, the y component, and the z component. Same thing here. Same thing here. These will be calculated based on this, or you can go the other way around. Understand, these are going to turn out to be I, J, K, I, J, K, I, J, K, with I being one foot, I'm sorry, one meter, one meter, one meter, one more in the positive x, one meter in the positive y, one meter in the positive z, same, one foot per second, positive x, one foot per second, positive y, one foot per second, positive z, same thing here, you know that these are going to be zero, zero, in this case, zero, zero, and minus 9.8. You've locked these down, hopefully, and then you can start thinking about doing and programming an equation based on some time minus time initial. So if I think about this time here, and then in actuality, time minus time init. So that's from the time you start traveling, if you would will be in this column. The time is the actual time, time in it. And then essentially what is you're going to have? You're going to have your x position, your y position, and your z position. This time will be, for instance, we talked about uh, one more thing, time in it, time step. In other words, how small is going to be your time step? What is your initial time of launch? And essentially, usually your time is going to be the time initial. So let's say you're launching at 3,600. That, of course, would be your launch time as well, 3,600. Which would mean, in terms of the process of the kinematic equation, you're going to have this equal to this time minus and then absolute position. Sorry, I usually will go ahead and put this in, put the absolute position there. In other words, you're going absolutely to that spot. So that should be time zero. Your x position is x naught plus v naught t plus one half at squared. So again, equal. In other words, the x position. In this case, it's going to be the absolute position because you're going to copy this down plus v0t, which is that absolute place, dollar, times 
time, right? So I'm going to say star time time. There's your time. That's the x position. And if you could wanted to, you could add an acceleration for x, and you could might as well put it in there. Dollar, sorry, plus that x component, right? 0 0.5 times that x component times this to the second power. I think that will work. You see it's not calculating. I might put an x position 1 there and a y position 1 there and get a value. Same for the y, same for the z. If in fact now you're going to take your time, you're going to say equal this value plus then your time step, which would be there. That time step might be, I think we talked about 0 0.054, right? And that means our time is going to be equal this minus that absolute position. Copy, paste. That makes sense, the way you've laid it out. So that is the basic layout. And what you were deliver, I think what I probably forgot here is that concept in, in the terms of the standard format, paper wad vehicle number right here. And then you're going to do a comma delimited format. You can dump this stuff out with commas in between them. That makes it easy to understand, graph, and do the like. Now, we will at least once in this class look at the output from a Wii because it is not because it's a toy at 40 bucks, but because it is a three axis accelerometer that can do a lot of stuff. And that's when we look within civil engineering with inertial navigation, uh, it's something that is being used by the uh, University, or University of Minnesota and MnDOT. So this is not pie in the sky. This is not um, just joking around. This stuff is actually hitting the field uh, in any number of ways uh, with uh, monitoring not only of flows and mud flows, but also flows of cars. So that was the general layout. I got 10 minutes to do this. So this was the way to lay out a 3D kinematic problem knowing your basic equation of position equals the original position at initial launch plus the original velocity times the time plus one half the at squared and realize you break it up into x y and z those x y and z's can be come from measuring x y and z components or more likely having something that's a magnitude an angle from the standard position angle in the plane and an elevation angle when you go through these computations, be aware of radians. Having an initial time spot, we talked about our datum, our time datum to be at, at um, uh, midnight. And so this would be so many seconds later. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. This would be a certain time of the day. And our time step there so we know how quickly and how often we're going to recalculate. This is exactly what Funland does. It's exactly what ComSol physics um, or any type of uh, auto or engineering modeler does. It breaks things up into time steps. We do it here for those who are really monitoring what we're doing. We do it here because we do a lot of time steps in storm analysis. We don't measure the rainfall every second or every 0.054 seconds, but we do break it up into chunks of 5 minutes or 15 minutes and average and use integration of curves. We do this in pressure, and so it's a great way to kind of tie up what you, the great work you've done in physics with some spreadsheet stuff and then learn how to dump out a common delimited format so you can animate with it. I hope that helps those who haven't done it. You should be able to do something like this from scratch at some point. Uh, if it's requested. Thanks for listening. Bye.